Hello everybody. It's been a while since I did a Blender video, but uh, I'm going to try to get back to it. I've been very busy with others, other things. Um, I had a request to make a um, diving helmet, and it seems like it would be relatively easy to do. And that's what I want to do to get warmed back up here. And if you're a relative beginner, um, we could do this together. All right, we're going to do this in multiple parts, so nice and simple and straightforward. Okay, so here I am in Blender 2.8. I got nothing in my scene, and I'm going to go Shift A, Mesh, UV Sphere, and the values that I want to use are 16 for the segments and 8 for the rings. So there it is, just comes right in the middle, and everything's fine. I'm going to hit Tab to go into Edit Mode and 1 for Vertex Selection. Alt A to deselect everything. I'm going to select that uh, central vertex down there and go Control Plus to expand my selection to get the next loop of vertices. I'm going to delete those X vertices. So now I've got this part here. I'm going to shift alt and click that loop. Look from the side, number three, and we're going to make the neck of the helmet. So I'm going to extrude downwards. I'm going to hit E to extrude, and I'm just going to pull down to make the neck as far as I want to. I'm going to go down that far. Let's make it expand out a bit. E and S, I'm going to pull and I'm going to line up my second dot with this. You don't have to do it that way. That's just the way I'm going to do it. Let's extrude down. Come down as much as you want. It doesn't have to be the same distance as this. Nice short distance like that. Let's go out again. E and S. Come out. Second dot lining up. E. I'm going to come down around the same amount. Okay. Back into object mode. This is what we have. Control 2 for two subdivisions. And right click shade smooth. Let's sharpen this up a little bit. There's a couple of ways to do that. Deselect everything, first of all. We could add edge loops, or we could just sharpen them up. So I'm going to turn off the subdivision right now by just clicking on the TV so I can see what I'm doing. Press 2 for edge selection, and Shift-Alt and click this edge, this edge, this one, and this one. So I've got those four edges selected. I'm going to turn that back on. I'm going to go Shift-E, and then you can see my arrow and dotted line. I'm going to pull. And I'm going to pull till it's sharper and sort of pink in color. I don't need to go to the extreme. You can go backwards and forwards, you know, something like that. So there's the beginning of my helmet. Now, we have this problem of the stretching right up here. Make sure everything's deselected. I'm going to go into 1 and select that vertex. This part, there is stretching at the poles. And there's a couple of ways to try and fix it. Neither one works all that well. Um, it's going to take some fiddling. So what I'm going to do is with that vertex selected, I'm going to go Shift S and cursor is selected. I'm going to bring my 3D cursor right to that vertex. I'm going to look from the side. Okay, the 3D cursor, cursor is, is right there. Now, I'm going to press X and delete those vertices. If I look from the side again now, the, the top part of the, the sphere is gone but I've got my 3D cursor where it used to be. I'm going to sort of rebuild this. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to shift alt and click that loop of vertices. And just from any vantage position that I can see this, I am going to go E and S. I'm going to, I'm going to extrude and scale in maybe about halfway the distance. And then I'm going to fill this up using grid fill. I'm going to go face, grid fill, and I have got values of 4 for my span and 0 for my offset. And that will put um, a vertex right in the middle of this. And it'll look like this. I'm going to deselect. I'm going to select just that vertex. I'm going to go 3, look from the side. So I've selected this vertex here. And there's my original 3D cursor. Like I say, this is going to take some fiddling. And it may not work perfect. You can do what you want to do. I'm going to switch over to proportional editing. And I'm going to choose inverse square. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can see my whole sphere. And I'm going to start pulling. And I get this white circle. I'm going to roll my mouse wheel up and back to change the size. And I'm going to go to about the size of the sphere, maybe a little bit in. And I'm going to pull up to around the middle of that 3D cursor. You can zoom in as much as you want. And then go back to the object mode and see how it looks. And, you know, that's not bad for what we're doing. What you might have to do is, is go in here and select more than just that. You know, come out and then and pull. You can also try 
to select all that stuff that we did the grid fill on, maybe come out one more level, and then come up to mesh, uh, where is it, shading, smooth vertices, and see if that helps you out at all. I'm going to move my 3D cursor out of there because I can't see, so I'm going to go uh, shift C, that's going to bring it back to the center, and I've gotten rid of the stretching, and it doesn't look too bad, so I'm just going to leave it like that. All right, let's let's go on. I hope that looks okay. All right, back in here. <clears throat> Shift Alt and click that loop of vertices. Let's copy those. Shift D, turn off proportional editing, move them down out of the way, and I'm gonna go P, separate them by selection, back into object mode, and just select that. So I've made a copy of those. All right, let's go back in sure I got nothing else I'm gonna move them up to around the helmet and I'm gonna actually scale them in a tiny bit s so that they would fit right underneath the helmet there cool okay now let's extrude this E and S pull it out we're gonna make the plate that sort of goes from the helmet onto the shoulders down the chest and the back a little bit so just extrude it out you know like it would go a little bit past the, the helmet onto the shoulders something like that okay now uh, I'm actually gonna take these and I'm gonna scale them in a little bit more oh I'm holding down shift so I go a little bit slower in my scaling um, I want to bend this I'm gonna use proportional editing again but if I do that with these vertices here these ones will bend as well I'll show you what I mean if I just grab one of these turn on proportional editing I'm gonna switch back to smooth uh, if I do this and I increase the size of this, you know, because I want to bend this down, see the way the, the inside gets all bent as well. So I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, all of these vertices. I'm going to hit H just to hide them. Then they're, they're not going to be affected. I'm going to look from the side and I'm going to select this front one. I've got proportional editing on and I'm going to pull. And you can see that my circle kind of goes into the helmet about halfway, my white circle there, and that's fine. And uh, you can just play around with this as much as you want. I'm just gonna bend it down. I'm gonna do the same thing on the back. Okay, I'm gonna do this kind of quick. And I'll take this one, I'm gonna pull it out a little bit. And I'm gonna look from the top, and I'm gonna go SX, and that's gonna just bend the whole thing. Maybe I'll do, let's see, like this a little bit. Now, if I just go back into object mode, you can see uh, what my thing is looking like, and that's gonna be okay. If I go back to edit mode, I don't see it again. I'm gonna go Alt H, bring everything back. So there's my plate, and uh, you know, you just decide if you wanna do more work on that. I'm gonna leave it like that though, and I'm gonna bring in an edge loop, Control R, slide it out, and we're gonna make sort of the lip that comes up off of this piece three for face selection shift alt and click there e to extrude and pull up as much as you want to make that kind of lip thing but we want it a little bit sharper than that and so we'll come in and i'll turn off the subdivision surface and i'll grab in edge selection shift alt click that edge and that edge and that edge i don't need the, the bottom edge to do anything so let's just make sure i got those right that one and that one i'm going to turn that back on and we can watch this happen watch in here shift e oh, shift e and pull and you can see that white stuff getting pushed out i don't want it super super sharp just something like that shade smooth and that is what we have so far okay so then we're going to do the other pieces uh as we come into the next uh the next video Cool. Nice way to start. Talk to you soon.